Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt. Guess what this is? This is Tone 2's new Electra 2 synthesizer. It is like the best synthesizer out. It's freaking amazing. And I'm going to use it in Reason. Check it out. Let's get a little beat going. Get a little level here. Oh, that's nice. Let's listen to this. Maybe get a little more level on that. So I'm using this synthesizer in Reason, and I can, I can record it, I can control the MIDI from Reason, I can then render it to audio right in Reason. So check this out. We have our audio right here, and we have our MIDI right here. So let's, um, let's record some MIDI. We'll put a little click track on and uh, we'll loop it. So I just recorded that into Reason, and that is Electra 2. Recorded it in there, and you heard the, the whole time. I have a, its own audio track right here. And if I want to, I can now just render it right to audio if I want. Super simple. Just record it. Watch. I could go in here and edit this uh, MIDI, and now I'm just going to record it. So now I just recorded this audio and it's in reason. Perfect time. It's uh, same tempo and everything. It just it works like a charm. Check it out. So I guess you want to know how I'm doing this, and that's what this video is all about. I have figured out a way to use VST and AU instruments and effects in Reason really, really simple. It's very, very simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's get right to it. What it's going to take to make this happen is, number one, you're going to need Minihost. It's a new plug-in uh, standalone player made by ImageLine, and it's free, and it's for VST and OSX. All you have to do is go to the link that's on the website, the LearnReason.com website, in this post. I have the link and everything, and it will take you to the form right here, and you can download it right here. 
for uh, Windows or here for OS X. And in this form is where you can learn how to use Minihost because it's more than just what I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you how to use VST and AU uh, instruments and effects. The effects video will be a separate video uh, in reason. But in this form, you can watch this video. It shows you some uh, more about it. I'll even have this on the website here for you, the Learn Reason website in the post. And then here you can ask questions and talk to people and help them beta uh, test this, you know, both uh, versions because it's still in beta, but it's working really good. Okay, so that's the number one thing you need to make this happen. The second thing you need is two audio devices that have spitteth in and out. You have to have two of them. Now, it might be a little expensive, but th the purpose of this is it just makes it work. It's easy. You don't need virtual cabling that's hard to find, uh, hard to get in Windows and, and configure it uh, and with your OSs and all that. All you need is two audio devices that have digital, you know, digital I.O. And what the reason you want this is because mini host is going to use one audio device. Reason is going to use the other audio device. And what you do is you send your audio back and forth to Reason via a digital in and out. And this way, everything stays in the digital realm. It works really well. You get really low. Uh, you can get really low buffer settings, and it and it, you know good action and everything. It works really, really good. So that's all you need is two of those, two audio devices, and then. You're going to need a virtual MIDI port, and if you have OS X, you can you can find that right here. You just go to your audio MIDI setup. You go up to the window up here, and you show a show MIDI window, and right here you can you can make a virtual port, and you click on it, and you can name it whatever you want. You can add more ports right here it's very easy to do just make yourself a MIDI port name it what you want and you're ready to go with your MIDI port if you're using Windows uh, just search online how to how to get a virtual MIDI port in Windows it's really easy to do there's tons of information out there to do it now you don't need an audio cable that gets much more difficult you just need your two audio devices and you just it works flawlessly makes it really easy so let me show you how how you do this you know from the beginning how you would make this all happen if you have all your all all the things working and everything let me show you how you configure all this so the first thing you do with your audio devices is you're going to take your mini host audio device you're going to go out of that, digitally out of it, into the, the in of the digital input of the Reason audio device. And then out of the Reason audio device, you're going to go into the mini host audio card's digital input. Very important that you hook it up that way. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start up Reason first. And the reason you want to do that is so you can select your MIDI port right here when you make your MIDI instrument. You select your virtual MIDI port. That's what I named my port. You can name your port whatever you want. And then you have to make an audio track. And if we go in here, once you make your audio track, you're just going to go down here. You're going to select the digital stereo input of your Reason audio device that you're using to, to monitor reason with and then what you're going to do to play you, you always click on the uh, MIDI device here that's how you're going to play but you're going to monitor through the audio track and you just click the uh, the monitor button here this allows you to hear what's coming in you know in real time right here Okay, now let's set up Minihost. You open it up, you know, you've installed it and everything. You open it up now, 
and you're going to go up to File, and you're going to go to Preferences. And the first thing you have to do is set up your plugins, but you can learn all that on in the forum. That, watch that video how to set up that all up. So right here in the audio, I'm just going to concentrate on this. You're going to select your the audio device that you're using for Minihost, and you're going to use its input and output right here, and you select it right in the drop down here. So I'm using the M Track Plus. And you want to have your sample rate the same as the sample rate in uh, Reason. And try and keep your buffer size low. I, I'm keeping mine at 256 and same in, in Reason I keep it at 256 also. And then you want to go to your MIDI input and select the virtual port right there. And, it's, and then you can do a test. Okay, so you know everything's working. Now you just come back into Minihost and you right click and you add a plugin. And I'm adding the Electra 2 by Tone 2. They make some of the most awesome synthesizers. It's incredible. And, and so what I can do here is I can just go in here and browse and I'll go back to the patch I was using. This is just a killer patch. And another thing you want to do is set your tempo in Minihost to be the same tempo that you have in Reason. And then you can, you can sync this. So this is going to be synced to the tempo of 129, which is the same as the tempo right here. And this will keep it in sync, especially if you have arpeggiators, arpeggiators going. So if we go back into Reason, we can just X out of this right here. And you notice I, I, I take Reason and I push it down a bit so I can go back and forth to mini host it's just an easy way to do it and so I can this drum get the drum beat going and then I click on here this is my I could I should name this Electra 2 synth and I can play it I can control the level and everything So now, using the same technique that I just showed you how to do, you can do this with uh, Superior Drummer, Easy Drummer. You can do this with any VST or AU virtual instrument. It works flawlessly. The only thing you don't have is you're not going to have um, you're not going to have automation. You can't automate this stuff. You can automate the, the, the mod wheel because your MIDI controller will um, see I'm I'm this is my mod wheel right here. Now that will record in reason because this controller, you know, my P6 here is in reason. But I can't I can't uh, record automation of any of the other controls. That's the only downside, but other than that, it's pretty freaking incredible. I, you know, this synthesizer is unbelievable. I mean, Tone 2 makes some incredible synthesizers. This is probably one of the best synthesizers on the market. It's so powerful, it's unbelievable. It's four synthesizers in one, and you can put in your own samples, and it's just, you, you know, I'll put a, I'll put a video the videos in the uh, the post for this synthesizer because it's incredible and you know you can get the demo and try it out and use it that's what I'm using the demo and uh, I'll probably buy it too but so that's how you can use a VST instrument or AU instrument VI instrument in reason and I really hope you guys like this and I hope you're excited about it uh, I'm gonna do another video on how to use effects you know uh, VST effects and uh, AU effects in Reason also. And, uh, you know, don't be shy. Share this with people. Let them know. You know, don't keep it to yourself. And stop by our, our social networks. And, uh, you know, 
everything here at Learn Reason is free. So a way you can help out is just to share, like, and subscribe. So, you know, you guys take care. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.